Welcome all to Interdox Barcelona 2015. It's a pleasure and a great honor to be here again. My name is Arnaud Gifreu and I will be moderating this session. And although in Spain we have faced a several crises, we are here, here we stand, and we are very happy of that. This year is our third edition, and uh, this is the 18th edition of Tox Barcelona International Documentary Film Festival. Interdox Barcelona is the interactive and transmedia section of Tox Barcelona. And as Juan Gonzalez, is director, said during the press conference, now uh, we have adults in Tox Barcelona, so we can drive or even take a beer. So have fun with this conference. And precisely, Juan Gonzalez had an important appointment today, so he was unable to make it, to come here. So excuse him, please, but he will be available and he will be around later, for sure. So from now till 9.35, I will explain three specific things. The first of them will be a general overview and a big picture of Interdox Barcelona and some details. The second one, I will invite on a stage one of our main sponsors to uh, introduce uh, his uh, work, etc. And the third one will be a surprise, because you, uh, as myself, had got up early today, and as a prize for being here punctually, which is quite weird in Spain normally, we have the first surprise today in the morning in 10 minutes. So, basically, uh, Interdox Barcelona will consist in four activities. The first one is today, is the conference with guest speakers from around the world, basically this year United Kingdom, Germany, uh, the States, India, France, Spain. And uh, this will last from 9 to 5, more or less, p.m. Then we have some kind of networking during one hour, two hours. And then we can continue uh, to the opening ceremony of Talks Barcelona if you are interested in joining in. The second one is the interactive pitch. It will be tomorrow from uh, 4 to 6 p.m. And we'll be in the auditorium of CCCV. This year we have four projects from diverse uh, countries in the world, such as Croatia, Slovenia, uh, United Kingdom, Colombia, Catalonia, and Germany. So we are very proud of that project, having in the interactive pitch as well. And after the interactive pitch, we'll have the first interactive uh, screening, which is called the online screening. And we're going to present and introduce as a premiere the La Sin Sombrero. It's an amazing transmedia documentary project that you will see tomorrow. It's free entrance if you want to join us another time in the auditorium of CCCV. And finally, uh, the practice part, I mean the hands-on part of Interdox Barcelona will be basically the Popaton, Interdox Hack Jam, and it will be on uh, Friday and Saturday. Friday is more like brainstorming thing, and Saturday is about coding, hacking, and it will be an open presentation from 8 to 9 p.m. Saturday, you are all invited. We're going to vote the best project, and finally on Sunday, the, the awarded team will receive the prize, which is a license from Popaton, from, sorry, Honky Tonk Films, uh, from Clean Pro, which is an open software editor for multimedia projects. So this is more or less our schedule, our menu for these uh, intense five days. And I hope that you are welcome here and you really enjoy the festival, basically, the overall festival, and specifically if you are inter interested in interactive and transmedia documentary, the interactive, the Interdox Barcelona, section. So, as a second thing that this general introduction, I will give the voice to uh, Alex Navarro. So, Alex Navarro is acting coordinator of Europa Creativa Desk Media Catalunya, which is the information office of the media subprogram of the European Union in Catalonia. There is a network of media offices in each of the uh, European Union member states. All offices are associated equally with a public entity linked to the audiovisual world. And basically, uh, they are focused on training, development, distribution, and promotion. So a big round of applause for Alex Navarro, and thanks for this kind of support. Thanks. Uh, Alex. Thank you, Arnau. Um, uh, I am not a surprise, obviously. Uh, I'm just the, the kind of a boring guy that always is in the opening of that type of uh, events. Because I've been so many times in this type of events, I will try not to be boring, to be dynamic. 
So uh, I don't need the introduction because I didn't expect to have that kind of a small CV for all of you that you've been participating in your projects with the media program that now it's the sub-program of Creative Europe, the big program that is joining culture and media. Uh, media has been uh, joining forces with uh, Joan Gonzalez and Parallel and Docs Barcelona for a lot of years with quite some bit uh, exceptions. So we are really happy again to collaborate as the main sponsor of this activity. My office, the Creative Europe Desk Media Catalonia, is in part in charge of being having possible this, uh, this third edition. And as well, uh, media is supporting the event with obviously with money. So take the most advantage and have a good one. But if I have to use those four minutes that are now gave me, uh, and if I want to bring you a brand new idea for all of those that they don't know quite well what's going on in the policy in the European Union, it's from uh, last September we have a new a new parliament. So. Uh, Mr. Juncker, that is uh, uh, Juncker, who is doing a new plan for getting money for the uh, small and big enterprises for with multiplying effect, it's trying to put Mr. Commissioning Ottinger into uh, the, the think of the digital and the copyright. So media now does not belong to the Commission of Culture. We moved to the DigiConnect, and it's quite important because it's here where the, the, the people, the artists and the authors, they have something to say. Probably you are aware, I've been, I've been in Cannes, from May 6th, they put in place a kind of a forecast program to implement the unique digital market uh, worldwide. I mean, you know, the transatlantic uh, agreement commerce with the United States includes as well to uh, uh, some issues like the, uh, to um, eliminate the geo-blocking zones for copyright, etc. So a lot of things are going on regarding issues about authorship, about copyright and about digital market. I'm going to be around if you need any more explanations about the issue, but I think it's a quite a strong idea because, of course, for in interactive documentaries, it's quite related. Have a good one and thank you. Enjoy.